So let's jump into the application now. So we're looking at the main idea statica connection interface. Okay. So in this example, I already created the members. I already added all of them. Um, in this interface, you will see the 3D model. You can rotate this model and then click on the different elements here. And once you click on them, you will see all the technical information in this, in this side. All right. So you can look at uh, the cross section that was selected for this member. Um, then you can also look at the different rotations of those members and offsets. This helps you to rotate members and move members from the working point. The working point can be seen in this view, which is the wireframe view, and that's where you are going to see the node, right? So once you set up the members in Idea Statica, then we can start looking at the connections. The way we model connections in Idea Statica is through operations, right? So if we click over the new operation icon, you will see all the available operations we have. So here you can see some standard connections, and then we have other operations that will help you to create a more complex um, design, okay? In this case, I already have the operations model, so I'm going to show you how, how they work. Uh, so once you select what type of operation you want, they will be listed here. So I'm going to activate the clip one. Let's look at the transparent mode. And you can see that the clip angle was added in this operation. You, in this operation line, if you click on, on it, you will see all the properties of that operation. And that is basically selecting the clip angle, uh, selecting the size of the well, the type of well, and then the bolts. In this case, we decided to put bolted connection to the column and then weld it to the beam, okay? So this is an example from one of the connections that Corbin designed. So basically I'm going to show you all the operations that were used in this, uh, in this joint, okay? After that, then we added a gusset plate operation. So let's activate that. And then that gusset plate operation is assigned to member M3. So all the operations are related to a uh, member, okay? So depending on what member you select, then the connection is added. You can decide if it's bolted, welded, everything is controlled from this operation, okay? Once you have this gusset plates uh, set up, one recommendation is that if you have a similar connection in the same model or in the same joint, you just, you just can right click and copy this operation and reuse the properties of that operation. Like in this case, this gusset two is assigned to the bottom uh, bracing. Okay, and um, you can reuse the information that you set up already on, the, on that operation. Then after that, instead of having just welded gusset plates to the members, um, Corbin decided to add clip angles from the gusset plate to the column. So you can add clip operations to gusset plates, like in this case. I'm going to activate clip three so you can see the third clip operation in this model. Finally, clip four is a sign for the beam coming into the web of the column, right? And now we're missing the horizontal gusset blade for this member. But in this case, Corbin wanted to use a specific shape of, uh, of well, in a specific shape for uh, the gusset blade, okay? So he had this, this shape in a drawing, so he drew that on a CAD file and then saved save it as a DXF. To be able to bring that shape into the software, you can use the stiffening plate operation. I'm going to activate this stiffening plate operation. And if you see in the transparent mode, that is um, set up here. This is a stiffening plate operation. And let me just click on it so it's highlighted. Um, and then this is a rectangular shape and is set up at the center of this model, right? So you can change the shape of this stiffening plate operation to polygon. So I'm going to click over polygon and then we can go to the DXF option and then you select the uh, DXF CAD file that you want to use to bring that shape. So I'm going to select that one and then setting up the correct um, units for this drawing, select the shape and then tell the software that this will be the outline, okay? So I'm going to click OK here, and this is uh, set up here in this side. As I said, I already put some properties on these operations. 
but you can use the X, Y, and Z coordinates to locate that plate and then use the rotation angles to locate correctly where you need this plate, okay? Then to connect this plate to the, to the main model, I can use a plate cut operation and then that plate cut operation one is related to this SP1 and then that is cut by M2. You can see the properties in this area. Now I'm going to do the same for this side here. Now to relate this gusset plate or this stiffening plate operation to the member, I'm going to use a gusset operation. And this gusset operation, uh, you can assign it to member M6, which is this horizontal bracing. And then you can select to connect this to an existing plate. So you can reuse one of the plates in this model to uh, relate it to the M6 member, right? So that is how it works. So this is the overall process for modeling this connection. 